How's it going, YouTube? Oxy here, and welcome back. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and if you went Black Friday shopping, hope you found great deals. But as promised uh, in my previous video, <laughs> today I'll be reviewing Eli Roth's 2023 movie, Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, I didn't know much about this film going in. Uh, of course, doing the research, I was like, I got even more excited, and I could see why... Uh, this was a long-awaited movie for many people, but Thanksgiving is a slasher film. If you don't know Eli Roth, he's part of the Splat Pack, a group of directors of the likes of like Rob Zombie or even James Wan, who you know created Saw, and now has went on to like uh, all the horror movies most modern fans like, like The Conjuring and that stuff. I don't like those personally. Um, but yeah, like he's part of the Splat Pack, which group of directors kind of known for their, um, they focus on horror, right? They're usually lower budget, but they have like the extreme gore violence. Um, so yeah, Eli, you know, he directed Cabin Fever, I believe it was 03, 2002, 2003, a movie called Clown from 2014, which is, uh, underrated, um, I think he's probably most known for Hostel, uh, 2005. Uh, but yeah, the, the reason this movie was like long awaited is because so many of you probably are aware of Quentin Tarantino and you might have heard of Robert Rodriguez and, you know, they're like known collaborators, right? They work together. So in 2007, they put out a double feature uh, that they titled Grindhouse, which was the individual film's Death Proof, and, um, uh, how did, why, how does the name escape me? But it was, it was a double feature, Death Proof, and, like, some, it was like a zombie movie, I, I'm sorry, but, uh, it was both of them back-to-back, -back, and in this, uh, film, they had fake trailers, uh, which Thanksgiving, directed by Eli Roth, was one of them. So it was a fake trailer for this, you know, double two-in-one movie, if you want to call it. And so it was, like, Machete, which, again, Robert Rodriguez uh, directed that and went on to actually make that film. So, yeah, for... I didn't know that, but I'm like, that's so cool. What started off as, like, a throwaway, you know, like, fake... Uh, thing actually finally became a real movie so yeah that in itself i was like oh that's awesome i'm very like yeah i just found that really cool but again thanksgiving it's a slasher film in the you know it's a uh, themed right like holiday themed in the vein of like my bloody valentine or black christmas you know for my ogs out there but, um, yeah, I, I had a great time with it. Very enjoyable. Definitely a crowd pleaser. And, um, I mean, again, if you know Eli, uh, he does great practical effects, again, which you love to see in horror. Um, really some great stuff. And the basic plot is essentially the movie takes place in the town of Plymouth, uh, Massachusetts. Right. And it's a small town that they celebrate, uh, of course, Thanksgiving. It's like very big for the town and the local sto store owner, essentially of like a Walmart uh, played by Rick uh, Hoffman, who <laughs> he's always funny to see. Um, uh, he's he's a personal favorite of mine, but he, he's like the store owner. And it's, of course, Black Friday. The film touches a little bit on that, right? On like how in the West, uh, Thanksgiving is much more about Black Friday, right? The consumerism and that sort of thing, capitalism at its finest, right? And essentially, the day of, uh, some people die, and, uh, the killer, and the, it's done in the vein of Scream, where there's a killer out in the town for, like, a year later, and, of course, us as a viewer are trying to figure out who it is, and I think the movie does a really good job of giving a lot of uh, red herrings or just stringing you along to like so many possibilities that when it's revealed who it is at the end um sure some of you will guess it but I think they do a good enough job where it's like you know 
you're always your mind is open to like it could be like three or four possible people now uh if you want to call them cons i mean again being a horror movie or in this case a slasher sure the our characters um aren't maybe the most well thought out well written a lot of them um because we mainly follow uh rick hoffman's uh character's daughter jessica and her friends it's like mainly them who are being targeted oh because they were went into the store early because her dad owns it and essentially caused a big riot that again resulted in the death of a couple like you know uh shoppers and the shopper in question one of them that died was very close to the killer and yeah the movie essentially is a revenge story but um yeah it, it's it's pretty well done again characters may be a little one-dimensional but i feel like in this type of movie they almost have to be because then it would border on maybe too much exposition or that sort of thing um but i think they introduce enough memorable and interesting characters even if they're one off where you could be like oh it's the guy with the <laughs> that sells like booze to teens or uh one that stood out uh comedian tim dylan is in this movie and he does a pretty good job i'll say he was definitely a funny uh a highlight i guess a minor spoiler so i do think you should see it but of course his character dies but i think they handled it pretty well and i i will say john carver right which is like a uh, historical figure that um the killer uses a mask of that of course everybody in town wears so that's how he can like you know go undetected is pretty great i, I will say he's very cunning and um the film had a couple i think i mean of course there's always that one person that's like oh jump scares don't work on me but I think there were some jump scares that were done really well, like not a loud noise or anything, like just literally like a surprise or like gets you. Like I verbally like shouted out like, oh, like like once or twice. Um, and even in the theater, you would hear that too. People had like those reactions and I don't know. It's been so long since like a horror movie, especially one done by a bigger studio um had that effect uh again i prefer slashers i'll be honest i have that bias if you will but um i still don't think that like despite that i still think the film ho holds on its own like pretty well um again the kills are great the practical effects are awesome there's seriously some uh pretty intense stuff i'd say for a big triple a movie like i won't write not specifically who but a guy gets like his head caved in and most movies they'll cut away from that or you'll barely see it but like you kind of do see it and i was like oh that's like a really great dummy head and like there's a scene where towards the end all of the the sir the people who haven't been killed yet are um like held at a table like texas chainsaw style and the guys like live streaming it like again it did a good job of like playing into slasher tropes but also modernizing it like oh they probably you know live stream they know how to use the phone social media things like that yeah seriously it's a lot of fun if i had to rate it like if you want a number i'd probably give it a solid 8.5 again i really enjoyed it everyone in the theater did too and like i've and you know i'm not saying it just to say it but in my experience um i verbally like you know of course you're in the theater with like strangers i verbally heard a lot of them be like yo it was actually a pretty good movie and i stand by that it has a pretty great uh rotten tomato score if you care i mean ultimately you be your own judge but yeah uh pretty much if I see Eli Roth is directing, I know I'm in for a great time. Um, and yeah, as a horror fanatic, uh, even Gorehounds, I think there's some decent stuff. Uh, sure, maybe nothing like, oh, like shocking, but for a big movie or, you know, a bigger studio, I'll say there is some pretty, like for, for them who usually play it safe, Blumhouse, 
it's pretty good. So, yeah, two thumbs up. Thanksgiving, <laughs> really great. Go check it out for yourself. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, have you heard about the movie? Are you going to check it out? Were you one of those fans that waited since 07 for this? It finally happened, and I don't know. I found that really cool. But, yeah, guys, if you like this type of content, I make videos twice a week. So please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All that good jazz. And... As always, everyone, I've been your host, Oxy. Take care, and I'll see you next time.